Oh. What up? It's Chris from Laser Lemming and Uploaded.com. Today we're talking about the Xbox Scorpio, Microsoft's new and improved Xbox One. So it's the equivalent of the PlayStation 4 Pro, same system, better hardware. Microsoft is going to make E3 all about this system. It's a brand new hardware launch, essentially. It is more powerful than the PS4 Pro and possibly more expensive. Possibly not. So let's get into that. Last week, about a week ago, I said that there is no way that the Xbox Scorpio, whatever it ends up being called, launches at less than $500 because the specs are too good. It's too high, you know? <laughs> Microsoft and Sony launched the PS4 and the Xbox One, the original systems, at a profit, I believe. And if not, it was a very slim loss. So they wanted to make money. The PlayStation 3 in particular, even the Xbox 360 at launch, lost money. The PlayStation 3 lost a lot of money. And that system launched at $500 and $600. So Sony and Microsoft weren't ready to do that anymore. They were over it. And PC architectures and technology had gotten so far ahead of consoles that there was no way to win without charging way too much for a system. You know? People, the masses, are not going to buy a $1,000 system. Even though it might cost $1,000 to make, they're not going to buy it. You might have hardcore, dedicated PC gamers buying that sort of thing, but they are much smaller in numbers compared to the console gamers. So I said, no way does this expensive, powerful system, it's expensive to make, no way does it launch at less than $500. And I was anticipating higher. But there's a lot of speculation going on that this thing is going to launch at 400 bucks, and that is the price currently of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Now, if that happens, Sony can lower the price of the PS4 Pro, possibly even at a loss, because if the Xbox Scorpio launches at $400, believe me, they're selling the thing at a loss, probably a pretty significant loss, and that is a Microsoft at odds with itself, because Microsoft is a company with the Xbox division, and you have the Windows division and some other web divisions, Bing, who cares? But you have the Xbox and Windows. Those are the big ones, right? Windows really is the juggernaut. But Xbox is there. They have a big footprint, but they are kind of seen as outsiders a little bit throughout the entirety of the Xbox history. Xbox launched in 2001. Microsoft may have bought their way into the gaming space, but they are here. They are just as recognizable. Xbox is just as recognizable as a brand as Sega, Nintendo, PlayStation, Atari, whoever. Xbox is in there. We know them. We think of gaming, we think of PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo. And they're here. So you have a company at odds with itself. You have a company with the Xbox division that really wants to just own the living room. Phil Spencer, Microsoft's boy, he is just, he's a gamer. He cares. But you have the Windows side that ever since 2001, probably before, we're like, you know, we should, uh, we should not do this. We should not be in the gaming space. Many people, high, higher ups at Microsoft, have suggested several times over the years, years, of just spinning off the Xbox division. Maybe just selling it off entirety, entirely. I can't speak right now. They just want to sell the thing off to another company or just spin it off as its own separate company. Hasn't happened yet. But when you are the Xbox division and you're dealing with that, with people that could possibly just get rid of you, get rid of everything you've been working on, that's not easy. That's not an easy position to find yourself in. So if this company, this group, the Xbox division, has to fight for a $400 price point in order to stay relevant, that's a hard sell. If I was uh, Xbox or Microsoft CEO, you know, and I wasn't really in charge of the Xbox brand, I didn't really care that much, I might say no. <laughs> no. You know, like I get it. We, we, I know you wanted us to make this powerful system to compete with Sony. But no, we're not going to sell it at a $100 loss or a $200 loss. That's ridiculous. No. But it sounds like it's possible. It's possible. We will see next week. I'm still not 100% convinced that that's what's going to happen. Some people have Googled an image. Remember, uh, Microsoft recently released a few videos to hype up E3. Scorpio is their thing this year. It's not about the game so much, and I'm just talking out of my ass, but I don't believe so. I think it's all about the hardware for Microsoft this year. They're just going to be talking all about Scorpio, release date, price, whatever. They've released a few videos. Uh, it's just a bunch of abstract imagery, concerts, uh, festivals, uh, carnivals, you know, whatever. And there's just been some cryptic words and numbers 
uh, in the background. They had a six is greater than four, suggesting six teraflops is greater than four teraflops. That's referring to the Scorpio's power versus the PS4 Pro's power. It's a more powerful system, but more power comes at more money. It costs more to do. So there's another thing that happened uh, in one of these videos. It shows a string of numbers. It's like X. Uh, 10S stands for Xbox Scorpio or something like that. But there's another one that it's like 10, 13, 17, which suggests the release date. Somebody Googled that number and they found an old uh, radio electronic magazine that said, you could build this robot for under $400. And people are suggesting that to mean that the Xbox Scorpio is going to come out at $399.99. It's a bit of a stretch. It's a bit of a stretch. But you also have analysts saying, you know, Microsoft is dead in the water if they release this thing above $400. And I agree. You know, the Scorpio, as many people that would like it, it's a mid-gen refresh. You know, it's not a brand new, it's not a brand new console coming out at a time when a bunch of other brand new consoles are coming out. We are in a weird time, folks. Back in the day, you had GameCube and Xbox launched around the same time. PS2 launched a year beforehand. But then you had... The Wii and the PlayStation 3 launched around the same time, Xbox 360, a year beforehand. This is just some weird-ass timeline we're in right now. We have the, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One launched at the same time. Wii U launched a year beforehand. Now we live in a world where the Switch is out in 2017, and you had the PS4 Pro come out last year, late last year, and now another console, Xbox Scorpio, coming out this year. And no, it's not considered a new gen except for maybe the Switch. So we're in a weird timeline. This isn't how things normally go. But no, I don't think for sure that this system is going to launch at $400. If they do, the Xbox division really pulled a fast one on Microsoft. I think that they really used their last ace up their sleeve. That is a huge win for them if the thing is a huge winner, but if this thing does launch at $400 and it does not do as well as Microsoft wants it to, it's not going to be good for the Xbox division. But I am not convinced that this thing's going to launch at $400. I think that it might launch at $500 and not do as well as they want it to. If it launches at $400, it'll probably do fine. It'll probably do fine. I don't think it's going to vastly outsell the PS4 Pro just because of how entrenched PlayStation 4 is not i was gonna say playstation 4 pro but the, just the playstation 4 ecosystem it's outselling the xbox one like two to one at this point so my sony is the winner this gen right sony is the winner so no matter what microsoft tries to do except for just trying to make the scorpio into a brand new generation itself it's just not gonna win either way i mean it might do well it might do well and it's all gonna depend on that price point so let me know your thoughts, comment section below. What do you think of a $400 Xbox Scorpio? Do you think it's actually possible, if you're actually reasoning this out, do you think it's really possible that it could be a $400 Scorpio? No, I don't, I don't think so, but it might happen. I mean, it might happen. Let me know your thoughts, comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more if you have not already. I'll see you next time.